The NBA on 2K Sports. Glad you're here with us tonight for this Monday night presentation. This is Kevin Harlan. With me tonight, Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson. And joining us courtside, reporter David Aldridge. And a look at the starters for the Cavaliers. At the guard positions, it's Garland and Mitchell. The big men on the floor for them, Mobley and Allen. And it's Struess in at the small forward. And for Utah, they've got Lowry Markinen. George is out there with Jordan Clarkson. Then it's John Collins. And it's Abaji in at the three, the small forward. And every season, you have teams, Greg, that start out hot only to falter. How do you separate the real from the rest? Kevin, that's a good question. And, and one thing is what we call point differential. Doesn't just look at wins and losses, but margins of victory. And it can indicate who's really built to go the distance. You know, after being led by LeBron all those years, and you too, of course, RJ, it's great to see huge expectations back in Cleveland with the Cavs. Well, I don't really appreciate that shot, Kev. But yeah, I think last year was just the start of something special. The talent on this roster has a major upside. They are so young. They could be a powerhouse in the East for at least another decade. Free throw good from Struess. Well, the Utah Jazz GA have one of the highest win percentages in NBA history. And they're probably the greatest franchise to never win a championship. They made the finals twice. Unfortunately, they had to face Jordan and the Bulls both times. And so Struess nails both of them. For a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line, and he's great at cashing them in. Mitchell against Clarkson. Rebounded by Allen. And the Cavaliers with possession. They put up a nice win against Detroit the last time out. Well, it helps when your opponent makes that many mistakes. I thought that was the story of the game. It definitely made things easier for them when the other team is just handing you the ball back got to make him pay for it. Now, here's Clarkson. Darius Garland missing his last shot. Five on the clock. Here's George. Garland with the rebound. It's Garland with the ball for the Cavaliers. Over George. Garland with the bucket. you got to be right on Garland from that mid-range spot because he is lethal from there. The pass to Collins. He kicks it to Clarkson. Here's the dish to George. Pass to Abaji. Collins trying to break free. Another miss by Utah. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. As Evan Mobley's game continues to evolve and develop Richard, he could be a real monster down low. He is something else defensively. Yeah, he's special defensively, and on offense, he has so much room for growth. If he can learn how to dominate the paint, then he will be an unstoppable two-way force. Now, here's Collins. Nine points last game. Free throw line jump shot. Good on the shot. And this is what Clarkson is out here to do. He's consistent about looking to score from the mid-range. Holds it up there for Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. Yeah, and Mobley's teammates love throwing lobs his way. Why? Because he catches pretty much anything you throw up there. Throws it up high. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. To the middle. Here's Allen. And slam dunk by Allen. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. We know mistakes lead to breaks. That's just textbook right there. Timeout is called first of the game for the Jams. And Darius Garland, no doubt a point guard on the rise. Yeah, I think this guy's future is really promising, and it's because of his strong work ethic, his desire to keep working on his game and get better.
so Utah ends up going with the new group. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Thompson, he's checked in for Allen. Wade comes in for Mobley. Okoro's checked in for Max Drews. And it's Lavert in for Mitchell. Now, here's Sexton. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now, he averages nearly 12 points a game. Here's Horton Tucker. Lavert defending. The Cavaliers leading by six. There's Garland. Got a piece of it. They recover it. Count it. Good. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Sexton the pass to Olenek. Here's Hendricks. There's 47 seconds left to play in the first. Horton Tucker in the corner. Here's Kessler. Thompson with the rebound. And he's usually able to score on that type of defense rather easily. Surprising to see him come away empty. Okoro passes to Garland. 23 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. Wade, good. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence, the big lead. They got off to such a hot start, and that can keep you energized throughout the whole game. Outside, Sexton to stop the run. And that one released in time, but no good. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. And we'll be back with you shortly. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And looking at what we've seen, Cavaliers pretty much in control here, it would appear. You, you got to credit their defense. Communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. It's been a group effort, and that's what it takes to play the kind of defense that they've played. Great showing from them. And with the big collisions we see in the paint, and Greg, there are some. Some have argued for changing the charge rules. Could you see that? You know, there's talk of extending the restricted area. I've even heard some say ban charges by help defenders. Uh, I like the former idea. Uh, it seems less extreme. Jordan Clarkson is out there with Taylor Horton Tucker. Then it's Collins. Then there's Markinen. And it's Abaji in at the three. That's the group for Utah getting going here in the second. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Cleveland moving it around. Back to Allen. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And, Greg, you talk about rim protection. Cleveland can really shut down the lane, can't they? Yeah, I mean, they have the personnel to do it. Big front court and quick guards who can keep ball handlers in front of them. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to. To blow the whistle you gotta blow the whistle when it's that obvious great call there by the official george has checked in for the jazz and while we've got a moment let's send it over to our terrific reporter david alder david thanks kevin the utah jazz have found themselves a new all-star in lori markinen coach will hardy says he's our best player but we're not making our team about him we have a lot of really good players Everyone is finding a way to coexist, and that's the great thing about our team. Kevin? Yeah, a quick rebuild. And David Aldridge, thank you for that report. Now, here's Lavert. After the miss from Evan Mobley. Here's Allen. Kicks it out to Mitchell. No good from outside. And sometimes on defense, you can just get lucky. George against Mitchell. George dishes to Collins. Can't cash in from close range. And it's Mitchell with the ball for Cleveland. This is the most they've led by 13 points. And this game, the first chance they've had to see Utah. You know, some teams just have your number. And that was the case between these two last season. 
And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. Wow, Clarkson can really move. And once he's airborne, there's nothing the D can do. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. For three, Mitchell. That's good. And it's Levert with the assist. Mitchell's got five now. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Now, here's Markinen. He has yet to score. The shot misses. Excellent D there from Allen. Levert against Clarkson. A kick out to Mobley. Back to Levert. With the drive, Allen. Up and in on the layup. Six points for Allen. Allen has to be in the conversation for the best role man in the league right now. Look, he sets solid screens, and then he's an efficient finisher down low. Markinen passes to Abaji. There's the lob to Markinen. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. And it's Mitchell missing. Jazz trail by 18. Here he goes. Passes it to Collins. Kicks it to George. Back to Collins. Pocket six. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you got to shoot your way out of the slump, even for him. Yes, that goes in. Whatever he lacks in size, Mitchell makes up with craftiness. It allows him to be effective inside. And so it's Cleveland controlling the game and finishing the quarter with a 20-point lead. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving up very few easy points. We come back right after this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. After one half of play, it's been a one-sided affair. Hey, everybody, welcome back. This is Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Cleveland came ready to play, showing tremendous urgency and a ton of energy. They got out on a masterful 13-2 run to start out. They found their rhythm early in this one, jumping out to an 11-point advantage. The last part of the second quarter went very well for them, continuing the offensive pressure and maintaining some tough defense as they closed out the half with a big 11-2 run. Kenny, what's your take on Cleveland so far? They're going right to the rim, finishing every chance they get. The D was helpless trying to stop them and beating them inside. I love the relentlessness and the aggressive style. This is how you impose your will on another team. How about you, Shaq? What did you think about Utah? Well, they're not finding good shots, and that starts with their ball movement. Too much hero basketball. They need to sharpen up the attack. More motion, quick cuts, get the ball inside. There's no way they're coming back with that type of play. <laughs> and that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Donovan Mitchell really making a difference here. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. You love guys who can get their shots within the flow of the offense. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. On the court for Cleveland. And there are two big men out there, Mobley and Allen. At the guard positions, it's Garland and Mitchell. And it's Struess in at the three spot. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. So it's the Jazz now. The Cavaliers making the shot. Clarkson surveying the floor. Off target from outside. The Cavaliers leading by 22. 
Here's Mitchell. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. The offensive success is due in part to his quality shooting. He hasn't wasted too many looks. Now, here's George. Hasn't made one yet. Outside Collins. Here's Clarkson. And the basket is good. And savvy inside play by Clarkson, getting himself a look right at the basket. Garland, the pass to Allen. Hey, yo, right here. Garland against George. Garland kicks to Mitchell. This is to Mobley. Garland, that's for two. Misses the jumper. No clue how he misfired on that shot. You don't see that from him very often. You know, Greg, after a few seasons of development, Lowry Markkinen has really emerged. And he's such a unique player. It took him a while to kind of figure out how to maximize all of those talents and, and also minimize the weaknesses. But boy, has he arrived. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Laurie Markkinen has gone from a bit player to a starring role on offense. He says it's something that I have to get adjusted to, but going forward, I have the room and the mentality to be more aggressive. When I watch film, I always see things that can become so much better. I have a long way to go and a lot of room to improve. Kevin? All right, good stuff, DA. Thanks. No good on that one. And Markkinen is showing the aggressiveness you like to see in a guy with his skill set. Somebody who doesn't lack confidence when he shoots the ball. Cavaliers making a switch here. Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for Allen. George Niang comes in for Evan Mobley. Dean Wade, he's checked in for Max Struess. And it's a Coro in for Mitchell. And the second free throw, good. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. And so it's Garland who brings up the ball for the Cavaliers. Since the second half started, they've only given up three points. The players you see here contribute as much on D as they do at the other end of the court. A list of the steel leaders among point guards. Fifth on the list, Darius Garland. And not only are these players tremendous at, at picking a ball handler's pocket, but as Shoot terrific two. point guards, they also know how to jump into passing lanes and get a steal or deflection that way as well. Yeah, it's just not their quickness or their hands that have them at the top of the list. It's their defensive instincts that set them apart. The Jazz making a switch here. Olenek's checked in. So he hits one of two from the strike. Jazz have gone one of three since starting the second half. Down low. The basket good off the assist from Sexton. And there's the patience you want to see from Sexton. Eyes up and finds the open man. It's deflected. That one goes. Count it. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Garland against Sexton. Second chance shot. He lays it in. Sexton's got his first basket of the night. And the muscle of Sexton. Outstanding at just working through the contact and finding a way to finish. Okoro dishes to Garland over Sexton. They get the rebound. Here's Thompson. Another miss. Boy, they had their chance there but couldn't get it to go. Jazz trail by 20 to the wing on the left. Here's Hendricks. No scoring in this one. Pass to Kessler. Shot clock at six. He dishes it to Sexton. And that one is off. Garland with the defensive effort. We've got 33 seconds left in the third. And the pass to Okoro. Lays it up off the glass. Thompson's got four points now in the quarter. 
Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say they need to emphasize rebounding going forward. The slam dunk by Garland. Such explosive athleticism in transition. Garland gets the pass and takes off. Now Sexton. From the arc. Can't get it to fall. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. Cleveland ahead, running away with it. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feed. Serving it up on a platter, that is a beautiful dish. And two teammates on the same page, woo! And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Sexton is the point. Clarkson is in at two. Then there's Walker Kessler. And it's Hendricks in at the four-man position. That's the five on the floor for the Jazz. Here's Hendricks. Tipped away. It's stolen by Allen. Two on one as they jump out on the break. Mitchell passes to Struess. Stripped it away. In transition, here come the Jams. Sexton on the wing. Mobley with the block. Already a stellar defender. Mobley proving he can be relied on to anchor for this team. Six on the shot clock. Here's Hendricks. One minute now into this fourth quarter. To the inside, Allen. And then Allen slams it in. He gives up a bit of size at the center position, but his leaping ability, well, let's just say that makes up for it. Clarkson passes to Hendricks. Here's Abaji. Over to the left wing. Here's Hendricks, covered by Mobley. Kessler with it, goes back up. That shot, no good. Excellent D there from Allen. Sexton against Mitchell. Mobley kicks to Mitchell. It's Struess on the wing. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Sharing the love. If you get yourself this open, Mitchell will set you up. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Now, here's Sexton. And one thing that came from this new CBA GA, mandatory participation in the NBA draft combine. Yeah, more equal access for teams to study various prospects. Player agents can't keep teams in the dark like in the past. That makes for a more level playing field attacking in transition the most consistent way to generate easy looks yeah when you hustle on the break like he does good things tend to happen and so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout a dominating performance for the cavaliers you don't see this kind of a blowout often but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And so that moves their record to 11 wins on the year. And this is a great way for them to kick off this season series. Two more games ahead, and they've taken the mental advantage with this win tonight. And something we've come to almost expect is greatness from this guy. 
Such an overall great performance it was for Donovan Mitchell. It was the kind of game for him that all scorers dream of, where the basket seemed as wide as a barrel. Yeah, exceptional play there to take the bump and still get it to fall. A different look for Utah. Olenek is checked in for Walker Kessler. Horton Jocker comes in for Clarkson. And Georgia subbed in for Colin Sexton. On the free throw, no good. And so it's Wade. He'll bring it up for Cleveland. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. Outside Garland. Pass to Niang. And there's the three-second call. This one on the defense. One shot. One shot. Free throw good, Garland. And I love watching Garland mature into a leader. And you know what? He is not done yet. Here's Garland. Wade passes to Garland. Thompson, high post. Just five to shoot. Wade outside. And here's Garland for three. He can't get it to go. So we see the Cavaliers taking the win here. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. Hey, that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.